Hey guys, welcome to um, the next installment of the pop track, I guess, you know, <laughs> and, um, and how I'm approaching it. So uh, as you can see, just like last time, we've got everything in front of us. And uh, today what we're going to be looking at is how, how I chose um, the samples that I did to create the kick and the snare sound. So uh, to do that, I'm just going to solo the the well all of them so you can hear just the kick on its own first and um i just want to um, talk about the characteristics of what i think that you should be looking out for when you um pick your different samples to go with it okay so that was my first sound what i was thinking was I just want a well-rounded kick sound, yes, that will, um, you know, from a normal kit, that's a bit compressed and uh, will just sit quite nicely. Yeah, so it hasn't got too many lows, it hasn't got too many highs, you can hear the snap at the top of the beta, you can hear that it's got some lows as well, um, and, you know, that was it. That's that's all I thought. You know, with this, it's also, it's it's got an EQ as well, just taking out some of those super lows because they didn't I didn't want them. That was going to come later. I was going to look for, for that later. So then I thought, okay, kick two, what do I want? Well, I thought this kick that I've got, it's got a little bit of room sound, but I actually want a little bit more room sound. Yeah, I want it, I want it to swell out a little bit. So um, what I did was I found this kick two sound. Okay, and, and that, that kick, you can hear that the thing that is really prominent with it is it's got a really, really hard snap at the beginning. You know, it's got a lot of attack to it, but then it's got this nice little decay as well. Um, so paired up with the, with the second one, this is what it sounds like. Starting to get, a, there's a more variety as well in, in the, in the, the actual performance of it now as well. But you can hear that it's got more snap. Um, the high end is a little bit more there as well because of that snap. Um, and all I'm all I'm really missing is a little bit more low end. So I just, my old faithful, a short 808. Okay, so you've seen these everywhere. An 808 is just, it's a sine wave, a really short sine wave that um, decreases in velocity essentially over time very quickly. So uh, that is what this sounds like on its own. So you can hear boom, it's got that boom sound. Um, but it's very low, so you can hear that it has, um, you know, it's, it's just got that sub element that I didn't have before. Yeah. And even in this, I'm still taking some of that out. Um, if I open this up, there you go, I've got a little hump there. At, um, 50 or 60 hertz. So if I just play it, you'll see that's kind of where the fundamental is lying. Yeah. Um, and then I just added them all together. Yeah. So that all, all those elements are the things that I wanted. I wanted some low mids. I wanted some sub and I wanted a bit of beta and a little bit of space in the room as well. Okay. And it gives me that sound or it, or rather it nearly gave me that sound because I, it gave me this sound. Yeah, and then I had the Sheps Omni that was in the last video. And that just adds as a glue to, to, to bring them together. And then if, if we look at the, um, what we can actually see is that I blended them together. So I had the 808 a little bit louder kick and one and two are kind of at the same level, but they're about 12 dB um, lower because they're just adding some character to the sound. Yeah, but it's, it's essentially, it's an 808 with a bit of character then. Okay, so let's go to the snare. What was I looking for in the snare? So let's just take a little listen. It's a, quite snappy, isn't it? Very, 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 um, there's no no reverb to it at all and that's kind of what i wanted was because i wanted to control the reverb later uh, with gated reverb okay so um this is my first sound 
a really tight wound snare. That's what I wanted. I really wanted it quite tight because I wanted to control it later. So then I added this sound to it. I think you can you can guess why I wanted that because it had low mids. Yeah, and the other one didn't have low mids, so I thought, right, let's get some low mids in there. Okay, and then finally this last snare. Which sounds more like a clap, but I, I assure you it is a snare. <laughs> it is. Um, it's, it's a snare that I have actually tuned up because I wanted a little bit more snap. So together, they sound like this. And then finally, when I put the gated reverb back on, Okay, those two different, the, so the kick and snare together, then we end up having this sound. Where I originally started with this sound. Okay, so you can see there, you know, start, st you start off with the sound and then add to it. Okay, that's what I'm going to say is, and what you want is you want this section overall to sound as big as the rest of your piece. Your your drums are nearly as important as your vocals. And we have no vocals yet, so they're at the moment the most important thing. Okay, so um, yeah, all in all again, so you can hear the drums all together. This is how it sounds. There we go. There you go, jobs are good. And so I hope that helps um, with how to actually pick your sounds, what I'm listening for. When you're listening for your sounds, think, has it got a little bit of, uh, has it got enough mids? Does it need some more mids? Where, what sample can I use that has that sound in it? And then go and find that sound. So I hope that was useful and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.